yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson and the next step let us go and create uh, some of the extension that we will uh, require later so i'll go to the core folder and let's create a new folder over here and that will be of the exdn as an extension over here and let's create the new file over here and let's call this one as the http res response and error error dot the dot file so we'll create some uh, extension on the uh, response object so for that let's create the uh, extension over here and let's call this one as the http and that will be of the res response er error on the uh, respons response object so that will be from the uh, HTTP package. Okay, that's cool. And once we have that, let's go and have the return type. It will have a return type of the string and HTTP RESPO and response error. And let's have a function that returns us this one. And the return type will be of the string. So uh, what we want to return from here is let's say uh, something like RE QUST request uh, FAILED failed and uh, then we can just uh, give something like uh, STATU status code over here and that will be of the um, dollar the we can get the status code from here and also I guess we can add the some something different and that will be of the uh, let's say uh, REASON region RE R E A S O N region, and then we can also grab that one from the uh, dollar sign the uh, region uh, phrase. Okay, so that may be cool. And once we have this, uh, we have the okay, I got the spelling error over here. So we have the HTTP response error extension. So this will help us to uh, we don't have to rewrite this one uh, every time, so uh, it. It will be a reusable code so we can just call the response dot the http response error to get all of the uh, error error message from here so we don't have to rewrite it every time so that's the power of the extension right and uh, i guess that's all for this lesson and uh, we will be using it on the uh, coming up lecture till then have a great day